John, thank you for joining me today for I Still Believe. We are giving you uh, the Epiphany Prize. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I uh, wish I could be out with you, you know, and uh, but the world the world will resume in a normal way and we'll all be together uh, uh, next year. And by the way, as always, I appreciate Movie Guide and everything that you do to to uh, help educate both Hollywood and and the general public on on movies that uh, uplift and inspire and and um, model, you know, a Christian worldview and and the transformational power of Christianity. And and uh, and you guys have been such great friends for a long time. And, and, and the Epiphany Prize is absolutely an honor. And and uh, and uh, and we appreciate you guys very, very much. And so, yeah, we're here actually. Uh, this is can you believe it? This is a practice uh, venue for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and we've, we've actually transformed it into, uh, into Ram, you know, the, uh, into Rams because we're, we're making the Kurt Warner story and his story of, uh, going from, you know, being a, a stock boy, uh, at a high V in, in, in Iowa to, to a champion and, you know, husband and father. And really it was his relationship off the field with Brenda and her, her son, Zach, who, who was uh, blind, who, that inspired him and gave him the courage he needed on the field. So it's just a great family story. And so we're, we're actually in the last few days. This is the big climactic end of the movie. And uh, so we've come down to Dallas to do it here. And we'll, we'll replace all of this with, uh, you know, with a digital stadium. Uh, and we're filming the end of the movie. So, so uh, it's interesting making movies in a pandemic. <laughs> I, I have my mask on all the time, but, uh, but God's providing and, and it's, it's, it's still great to be able to make films right now. And you guys have tended towards more inspirational, um, true stories, right? Um, people's true stories. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they say that um, a filmmaker finds their story and just tells it over and over again. And I do believe that God gives us unique gifts and, and, uh, and, and a unique purpose. And it's nice when you sort of find your, the song that you were, that you, that you were born to sing and, and uh, in whatever your endeavor is in life. And, and I think with the movie, uh, it was great, another football movie, Woodlawn. That was the first true story we did. And it just felt like, um, you know, we, we found our voice. And we've done, uh, for whatever reason, nothing but uh, adaptations of true stories. I just think that there's, so, there's such power in the truth. And you just can't argue with the transformation in someone's life that, that Christianity brings, that the gospel brings. Uh, and, and when it's true, it's just all that more powerful. And, and I love it when someone watches the movies and says, you know, if, if, if that can happen to, 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 to that person, maybe it can happen to me. In this case, if, if they can, uh, you know, achieve their dreams, uh, maybe I can too. And so we just, we love inspirational true stories. And I still believe was all about, you know, the hardships and um, still, you know, believing. Yeah. <laughs> of course, mm-hmm. the title, but still having faith through all the hardships. Can you talk? One second about that. Well, I still believe it's just an amazing movie uh, about uh, Jeremy and, and, and AD Camp. And I remember sitting down, Andy and I sat down with Jeremy uh, Camp and just heard his story and uh, had no intention of doing another um, music movie. Actually, we were looking at early development on the movie that we're filming now, but I was so moved. And I remember when, uh, when uh, uh, Jeremy said that his, his first wife, Melissa, she said that if, if one person is changed by my story, if one person comes to Christ because of my story, it will have been worth it. And he said it in tears. And that story was so moving. It was like, we, we have to do this movie. So it's an incredible uh, love story. It's an incredible story about um, finding your voice. And, 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 and you know, it, it's a great story about an up and coming music artist. And KJ Apa is so good in it. But it's also a story about, you know, what do you do? when things happen in your life that are painful and unexpected. And sometimes the hardest things in your life end up becoming your inspiration. And in in Jeremy's case, the hardship that he walked through in his, in his first love ended up being, becoming his voice that would, that would inspire millions and, and, uh, and bring many, many people to Christ. And so uh, that was a very relevant theme for me. I think that, that, uh, you know, we, we all deal with, uh, with loss and disappointment, you know, and, uh, and, but it's, I, I think it's an incredible love story. And I think Britt and KJ did such a good job in the movie. And uh, I'm very, very proud of what we did. And I'm proud that people can see it. You know, it was one of those movies that came out right when the pandemic hit. And uh, we, we had never been number one in America on Friday night we were. And of course, everything changed. So that was sort of a gift that we, we were able to be in theaters for a little bit. 
but I'm glad everybody uh, you know, has been able to see it now uh, uh, in their home. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're a part of, of, of all the changes the world's experiencing, the entertainment industry is experiencing. The good news is, you know, there's never been, you know, as a Christian, there has never been a more powerful medium to reach more and more people globally. So even though it's changing how people see the content, um, and I, I say that I'm a huge believer in the theatrical experience. I think it's going to come back. I think it might be different when it does, but, but it, what's happened over the past year is it's accelerated a lot of change. And what that means is there's just more and more ways for people to experience the content globally. You know, if you think a hundred years ago um, or 200 years ago or more, it, you know, it would take months and years to, to, to reach, and it really would have been impossible to reach as many people as you can uh, now with a story, you know, and Jesus told stories. And it's amazing the global reach of, uh, of the stories that we can tell because of technology. So we should, we should seize the moment and we should get in the game in Hollywood. Uh, and and I'm, I'm excited to be a part of that, of just getting Christianity back in the entertainment business. And I know that's the the theme and, 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 and spirit of movie guide. And you guys have been working on that for, for decades, you know, and, um, uh, uh, and, and I appreciate again, the work of movie guide and, and uh, the partnership. Yeah.